An IPA from the home of the American gangsters. Let's bring it on. Hello again, and from Chicago we have the Goose Island IPA from the Goose Island Brewing Company. Now, they're trying to, apparently they're trying to recreate a real old fashioned um, IPA that was um, sent, that was obviously brewed in England many years ago to send to India. And uh, the reason, if, any, if anyone knows about IPA, what it was, was a highly hopped ale, um, which uh, was brewed all across England. And, and because of the hops in the ale, it could withstand the long journey to India, so they had a drinkable beer. And uh, Goose Island are trying to replicate this, apparently, um, if you read their information and that. So, should we uh, sort of open it up and give it a try? So this is a 5.9% um, IPA, um, which is a little bit <coughs> more, because a lot of the English IPAs, as you know, are sort of, you know, three and a half to sort of four, 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 uh, four and a half percent. So, you know, it's only these these craft IPAs, especially the ones coming out of America, that seem to be that higher. But then again, I must admit, I actually prefer the higher ABV in IPAs as to the weaker ones. You know, things like your Green King IPA and stuff like that. It's, it's piss water, in my opinion, you know. Um, so let's see how this pours. Now, as you can see from first impressions, this is a very low carbonation IPA. Um, oh, <laughs> the hoppiness hits you as well straight away. Um, it's that nice little, little sort of amber colour. Now, the malts in this, you've got the pale ale malts. And the hops, you've got the Cascade, the Centennials, Pilgrim, and Styrian uh, Celia. Um, all obviously American hops. So it's going to have, I would say, from the smell, it's, it's a typical sort of citrus uh, grapefruit punch straight away. You, you know, you always get mainly from these IPAs now. Um, a very, very pleasant smell. Again, it's like um, the taste is very much grapefruit peel, um, and it's got a pine taste to it. It's, it's, it's like it's like a pine taste as well. Yeah, grapefruit, grapefruit peel, pine, very very bitter. There's no sweetness to this beer whatsoever. Um, it's not dry, don't get it wrong, it's not one of those beers that's dry, it's going to take all the saliva out of your mouth, no, no, it's um, very good in that respect, it's, you know, it's still got saliva in your mouth and it's, it's very um, quenchable, but dryness it is very, very dry. Very, very dry IPA, nice IPA. Um, would go nice with uh, with food. Um, sitting down at a restaurant, um, you could quite easily, you know, have a nice steak with this, or uh, um, even probably seafood in it. But you know, it, it's, it's a this is this is a nice IPA. Very low carbonation, low. Um, very very low. So it's sort of. Like I say, they're trying to replicate the, the, the English, as you know, an English IPA straight out of the barrel. There won't be no carbonation in the English IPA. You know, it's um, gravity fed um, a lot of the time um, from the cask. And yeah, they're trying to replicate it, like they say. And yeah, they're pretty much, they've got it in the, in the colour. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good. Good IPA this. Um, yeah, it's worth worth going out and buying a can of this. Quite a distinctive can. Um, they do it in bottles as well. 
Um, but I've heard a lot about the uh, this Goose Island stuff, and yeah, I thought uh, I see a, a, I see a can on the supermarket, so I thought right, let's buy it and review it and see what it's like. Um, yeah, well worth well worth it, well worth buying buying it and trying it. Um, see what you think. Uh, you know, see what you think. Comment below. You know, you might you might find it horrendous, you might find it good. Um, you know, there we go. And uh, like I say, until next time, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you, good night.